You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician. This week on The Biz, the Sales Support Services Series. And on today's show, Stretch IRAs and Generational Planning with special guest, Michael Prestwich, creator and distributor of Imagisoft. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And with me today, day two, creator and distributor of Imagisoft, Michael Prestridge. Hey, Mike, welcome to the show again. Thank you, Steve. Day two. Listen, I love, I mean, I know my shows get traffic, but I might get serious traffic from compliance this time because we were all over yesterday's show on suitability. If you missed any of our show, hop back out to our site, www.thebiz.tv. We talked about annuity marketing. We're going to kind of move on to another section here that's similar. And what I like about this is, is that we're talking about compliant issues from an insurance regulatory area yesterday's show. And I think you're going to find that that's going to be a great part of your best practices and you want to insert that in your business plan. Let's talk about this, Mike. We're talking about stretch IRAs. Now, that, that's been around forever, okay? But we talk about stretch IRAs in light of generational planning. We're trying to defer, delay, stall as long as we can our taxable events on this. First of all, let's make sure that, because remember, we had about 18% of our audience is consumer. What is a stretch IRA? Essentially, you have a qualified plan, which means it's a 401k or 403b, and the money has been gone in tax-free. Now when it comes out, mm -hmm. it has to be taxed. Mm -hmm. So Uncle Sam not only gets the tax on the first part of it, but now they're getting the tax on the growth as growth well. Growth and basis. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why they like this thing. Mm -hmm. And now they're starting to get the, their payback. And so uh, they have something called the required minimum distribution. Mm -hmm. You have to take out a certain amount of money and then if you don't take that out, then they tax you really mm -hmm. heavily if, uh, because you missed that. So they have this RMD calculation. What you do is you take your required minimum amount starting at age 70 and a half, and you just delay it as long as you can until you pass away. Then it can go to your spouse. Now, does it matter what's inside the IRA when no, you're No, it this? can be an annuity product. It can be a mutual, mutual fund. ETFs, whatever. It can be stocks if, it's, if, the, mm -hmm. if the plan document allows that. It can be a lot of things. I know a guy that put real estate in it. Mm -hmm. He's a real estate oh, yeah. broker. So you, as long as the plan document allows it, you can mm -hmm. do that. All right, so let's go back. So I'm sitting there at 70 and a half. I have to take required minimum distributions. I just have to. Right. All right. I'm willing to do that. Now, how do I make this thing go? Stretch. I mean, when I think about this, I think of this in my vision, I have a timeline and I, I'm elastic and I'm just stretching this out. Talk a little about how does that work and why is it so powerful? Well, the reason it's so powerful is it's time and a compound interest. And so Benjamin Franklin understood this more than anybody mm -hmm. else. He put $3,000 away, and 200 years later, it was worth about $20 million. And so mm -hmm. uh, if you could stretch forever without ever take, hitting the principal, you could do that same effect. So you do that, and then your grandchildren, your children, can, can be the beneficiary of that compound growth. Well, let's just talk about how far we can get. We're living longer. I mean, right. we just are. And when I think about the baby boomers, and, I, and I'm on the older side of the of baby boom generation, when I look at the baby boomers, the odds are high that the males that are non-smoker, decent health today, will probably see 90. Their female counterparts on the same generation may see well into the 90s, Think about this. Willard Scott says happy birthday to a handful of Americans who turn 100 every day. Right. And he puts them on the smucker's jar, right? So we know we're going to be living longer. Are you saying that as long, and I think the rule of it is I have to be alive to make this call. Right. Is, okay. All right. So I'm just, I'm fantasizing. I'm 70 and a half. I start doing your RMD tactic here, and I'm going to stretch my IRA. I'm going to try to keep the principal, if I can, intact. Right. And just take what I have to take out and no more. All right. Now I'm doing that. Now, I decide I'm going to name my child, or could I name my grandchild? Or think about this. It's not outside our thinking that we'll be talking about great-grandchildren. How does that work? You can do that. It's very, very important to have the right plan document. Most plan documents mm -hmm. don't allow it. Your 401k plan document probably doesn't. So the correct way is to roll it over 
into a program that has it. Insurance mm -hmm. companies love to work with the generations. You know, your, your employer doesn't. They want to deal with you for most mm -hmm. five years or your spouse. Mm -hmm. So uh, move it to a, a look at your plan do document and make sure that it allows mm -hmm. the stretch. Now, the can I stop you just for a second? Sure. Just make sure I understand this. So I can get the idea of like a 401k is not going to let you do this. Okay, fine. Right. So I roll it into an individual IRA. I'm done. It's mine right. now. Do most individual IRAs that have, let's say, an, let's just say annuities, just keep our, our minds straight today, an annuity, it's inside an annuity, that doc's going to permit this kind of stretch. Yes, if it's with, the, with an insurance company and an annuity. Mm -hmm. I won't guarantee that it will with a bank, mm -hmm. but yes, it will. Okay. Now, let's say I have holdings, though, that are mutual funds, ETFs, other investments. When I go into stretch, when I'm thinking about stretch, am I thinking, well, I might want to start converting those before my RMDs start. Will I want to convert those to an annuity? Maybe. Maybe. So if I, I could keep my, my portfolio intact and still do this stretch. You could. Oh, you could. You could. And yeah. if, it's, if it's all the same kind, like if it's all IRA money, mm -hmm. you can take the RMDs from any one of those accounts. So if you mm -hmm. want to have your safe p part of your portfolio or your annuity, you could take your risky part and take the RMD mm -hmm. from over there and let this one grow without getting into mm -hmm. it. Now, Steve, one of the things you talked about is if I live till I, I'm age 95, Congress put this RMD in because they want you to deplete your entire IRA before you die. And so there's a way to convert this into a Roth IRA mm -hmm. after you die using life mm -hmm. insurance. And that's a real hot well, idea. We'll talk, when we get back, we're going to talk about that on the break. I just am stunned with all the IRS news today that you just said they want you to deplete your money before you, <laughs> they want you to run out of money before you run out of living. Right. Unbelievable. When we come back, we're going to continue our stretch IRA and generational planning with co-host Michael Prestwich. And don't forget to enroll in IULUniversity.com for the best training, education, and sales support when it comes to life insurance for retirement income. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant here with Michael Presswich. And remember, you can order today's materials at thebiz.tv. And while you're out there, click on the backup technician icon for their free 30-day free trial for access to the best needs analysis and client education material that addresses almost every financial scenario. And if you want another seven day, Michael is giving away for, for Imagisoft, I shouldn't say giving away, but a seven day free trial to walk on their site and try Imagisoft. We're talking about a couple tactics here all this week. We're going to talk about five or six of them that are really, really important for your practice and great for your clients. And they really display and the presentations are fantastic. And some of those presentations, of course, will have great information on that, including hey, is this a good deal for my client? What's the tax bracket for my client? Things of that nature. And remember, before moving forward to anything that you hear on our show, always consult your tax advisor or legal counsel as well as your broker-dealer compliance department if you're FINRA licensed. Michael, uh, and I love that last line we talked about, the IRS wants you to deplete your income. But now, you said I could do a Roth conversion on this? Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about that. Make sure I get the mechanics. You know, a few years ago, before taxes went up, you know, for 2013, people, a lot of them were converting their money into a Roth IRA, but a lot of them were hesitating as well. They say, okay, I get this million dollars, and you want me to put 
$300,000 of that money away and give it to the IRS now? No way, I'm not doing it. Right. Um, and so there's a, there's a kind of a, a, a way to take a combined way of that, mm -hmm. and that's a husband-wife situation. Our software will tell you what the cost is if she takes it in a lump sum when you pass away. So let's mm -hmm. say the husband's gonna live till he's age 85. John Glenn lived till he's age 82. So a lot mm -hmm. of us will live into our mid 80s. When they die, the wife wants to take the money as a lump sum. That's the worst possible thing. It's the opposite of the stretch. There's a large tax mm -hmm. that would happen if, the, if she does that. And our software will tell you what that tax is. Mm -hmm. So let's say there's $700,000 left, and let's say the tax is $312,000. Why don't you buy a life insurance policy on John for three hundred and twelve or three hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars? Take part of that RMD money and pay for the life insurance. It goes for twenty years. He dies. She gets the three hundred thousand. Then she now ha knows the amount she has to pay the IRS to convert the seven hundred thousand to a mm -hmm. Roth. The nice thing about the Roth is you prepay the tax for life, mm -hmm. even the growth. Mm -hmm. So she now has a $700,000, there's no more RMD, she doesn't have to take that money unless she needs it or mm -hmm. wants it. Then when she passes it off to her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, mm -hmm. it's their distributions are tax-free. So if I understand the chronology, I just want to make sure I got the chronology correctly. So I am anticipating what I think the conversion Roth taxable event will be. Right. I'm going to cover that on his life as a death benefit issue. Right. When that death benefit proceeds come in, that number coming in tax-free to her as the surviving spouse is now going to go ahead. She now will execute her conversion, conversion privilege. privileges yeah. to the Roth. That she'll have a taxable event on that, mm -hmm. but I have money from the death benefit to pay that. Going forward, I have no more RMDs. Right. All my money accumulating and the gain on that IRA goes out free. And as long as I'm alive, I could say I want that to go to the first generation, my children. It could go to my grandchildren, my second generation. And oh my gosh, if I live long enough and it could be happy, it's going to happen, I think, in the next generation, we'll all be used to great grandchildren. Right. As long as I'm alive, I can still make that call. Yes. I could stretch this as long as I'm alive into perpetuity. Right. I mean, this is a huge tactical issue, especially in light of your comment that the IRS wants us to run out of money before we die. Yeah. I mean, this is a huge leverage play. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that dad has to be somewhat insurable to make this work. Sure. Right? I mean, he has sure. to at least be, and it won't work for everybody, but it, right. it could work for a lot of Americans. We should be thinking about this now, especially because RMDs are going to come up right at 70. We're going to have to make this call pretty quickly. We should start thinking about planning about this. Now, the, the software calculates all this. Right. And all, even the actual uh, audible of going to the life insurance to pay my Roth it does, tax? It doesn't say that, but mm -hmm. what it does is there, there's some pitfalls. Mm -hmm. The very first page is that here are the pitfalls, and it calculates the tax mm -hmm. things. It tells you, A, one of the pitfalls having the wrong account mm -hmm. that doesn't let mm -hmm. you stretch, and the other one is you just take it in a lump sum. And that happens quite often. Mm -hmm. People don't know any better. And as soon as you have that money in your hand, as soon as you have that check, it's irrevocable. Mm -hmm. You have to pay the taxes in that year. So, so really the software, the, the actual software is going to lay out the most probably used scenarios by most Americans in their retirement years and show, especially the, the big two, they're doing it a lump sum, right? Right. And they're not taking advantage. It sounds like they're in the wrong account. They need to start mo thinking about this now before their RMDs are triggered. So, I, you know, everybody's out. We're, we're thinking about, I'm just thinking about the timeline here. I'm thinking about Social Security. I start thinking about it at 62. Yeah. I start thinking about Medicare at 65. I right. start, if you're a boomer at my age, you're looking at Social Security, to, you could take constructive receipt of your full amount at 66 or hold on and get 8% compounded till you're age 70. Now I have to start thinking about another issue, which is how can I make this money stretch pay the least amount of taxes, and if I'm my, my spouse is healthy, I can leverage it with life insurance to pay that tax and make sure going forward there are no more RMDs, and I can hand this to my children, grandchildren, oh my gosh, maybe great-grandchildren. Great-grandkids, yeah. I mean, and all in this software, and it has a great presentation. Oh, it does, it does. It's fantastic. Again, seven-day free trial. Just go out to Imagisoft. Go ahead and click on it. It'll be all on our bottom footers on our film here. You'll be able to punch it right in and click it in. Try it for seven days. This is a huge, huge sales system already done, and I love the word compliance. 
Well, that's our show for today. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, or just go ahead and email me, steve at thebiz.tv. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. You've been in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.